Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for being here. Um, first of all, over here at the Armory, I, I want to start by uh, just giving my appreciation, my congratulations to the Guard, all these fellas in here, women, men and women that have done such a fantastic job. I want to thank General Singh for her leadership. I got a, a chance to thank um, some of the some of the folks inside for all the hard work that they've been doing, and I want to start with that. We're proud of the National Guard and the fact that they've really helped us keep things safe along with the uh, Maryland State Police. So it's been less than 48 hours since we declared this state of emergency, and things are looking a lot different than they did Monday night. In uh, just a moment, we're going to let General Singh and Colonel Palazzi provide you with an update on police and National Guard operations around the city. Uh, but first, let me just say that we're very encouraged by what we've seen over the past 24 hours. I started the day at uh, State Police Command Center, where we met with uh, police uh, from the state, Maryland State Police, from the city, from all across our state, and even uh, folks from all around the country. And these men and women are working incredibly hard along with the National Guard. I want to thank them. Um, including those from out of state. After we hear from, um, after we left this morning from the command center, uh, we went to Sandtown, which is the neighbor uh, neighborhood where Freddie Gray was from. We met with residents, we walked the neighborhoods, uh, we met with neighborhood leaders and leaders of the NAACP at their new headquarters, which had just opened yesterday. We got a chance to talk with some people who were among the worst affected by the civil unrest. I can tell you they were very thankful for the efforts of the National Guard and the Maryland State Police. They were happy that they were there uh, protecting them and keeping the city safe. But I was also encouraged by the optimism that I saw there um, and by the number of people that were out helping in the community. We then went to uh, Maryland Emergency Management Agency. We held a cabinet meeting to ensure that every single state agency was trying to provide as much assistance and as many resources as they possibly could uh, to the situation here in Baltimore and helping uh, people who were most in need. Uh, every single state agency is fully focused on this crisis and they're provi providing uh, a number of necessary services uh, and a, very, a lot of help that's very much needed in the city. Let me just also say that the Maryland Emergency Management Agency is doing a fantastic job uh, of helping to coordinate all of our critical resources. Um, state, city, and allied police, along with the National Guard, are working effectively together to ensure that Baltimore's streets are safe. Today, children were back in school in Baltimore. People were back at work and city residents were cleaning up after Monday night's disturbances. But we're not out of the woods yet. Um, the state continues uh, to utilize law enforcement assets from every corner of the state and from other states, uh, including Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and the District of Columbia, uh, who have all dedicated law enforcement officers to our efforts. I want to thank uh, Colonel Palazzi for all of his efforts in leading this combined force. We have in place approximately 2,000 members of the Maryland National Guard and over 1,000 uh, uh, state troopers and other allied law enforcement officers, including officers from Montgomery, Anne Arundel, Baltimore, Howard, Prince George's, Hartford County, as well as many others. others. This combined force will not tolerate the violence or looting which has led to the destruction of property and put innocent Marylanders at risk. There are some peaceful protests happening tonight, and we want to make sure that individuals can exercise their First Amendment rights and express their legitimate concerns. But we also want to stress and remind everyone that there is a 10 p.m. curfew in place in the city, and I urge everyone in Baltimore to get off the streets tonight at 10 o'clock. Uh, when the streets are clear, police and the National Guard can do their jobs. And the vast majority of people in the city are being extremely helpful and cooperative. 
people are picking up bags and brooms and cleaning up. Parents are keeping kids at home and off the streets and community leaders who have been so helpful to us in keeping the peace and urging people to protest in a peaceful, a nonviolent way have been urging people uh, to head home before the curfew. Across Maryland, we're seeing the work of people who are urging another quiet night like we had last night.